Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, not going to the range, not shooting today, so I thought I would introduce you guys into a little engineering project I'm kind of working on. So, some years back, a company called Accuracy Solutions come up with the idea of extending the bipod out in front of the rifle and basically moving and increasing the length of the lever from your fulcrum point uh, to back here where your bag goes and when you do that say you were to wiggle a little bit back here well basically it's gonna transfer less you know the longer this is it's gonna transfer less input at the muzzle of the gun so more or less you're taking out as much of the human error as possible now those accuracy solutions I believe they're called bipod ext um, they range somewhere between 250 and 700 dollars uh, depending on the model now you can get them where they extend to different lengths and stuff they're all made out of carbon fiber which is cool uh, but I decided to come up with like literally my own setup and so uh, this is a 30 millimeter aluminum tube this is not a lightweight aluminum tube uh, the outside diameter is 30 millimeters the inside diameter is 20 millimeters so the wall thickness is 5 millimeters on that tube uh, so it's extremely rigid even though it, it doesn't it still doesn't weigh very much so uh, you know as far as adding weight to the gun uh, the scope rings, the 30 millimeter scope rings that I have attached here to the pick rail on the bottom, and then the 30 millimeter accessory rail, uh, like you would put on a scope if you were going to add a red dot or something, attached up here, and then this bipod uh, plus the aluminum tube, all of those components together weigh 2.26 uh, 2 pounds, or uh, sorry, it's 2 pounds, 2.6 ounces. So just a little over two pounds. The rifle setup here is already heavy. This is, you know, so with that on there, it, we're looking right at 20 pounds, almost exactly. Now, this is at the furthest point away. Uh, this tube is 400 millimeters, which is roughly 16 inches. So to give you kind of an idea, normally your bipod placement would be here, somewhere on this pick rail, uh, you know, from here to here. And so the distance between the rear bag to where your bipod contact point on here would be is going to be roughly 27 inches. So by adding this extender on here, and obviously I don't have to have the bipod set at that angle, but this is just kind of showing you the maximum length that we could push out of it, the maximum radius for the stability. And with that, we're looking at right at 50 inches so 50 inches compared to 27 we almost doubled the length of the radius which would mean it would cut it you know if you were to move a millimeter back here it would cut that down uh, and, and uh, say you move a millimeter back here and it moves the muzzle a tenth of a millimeter hypothetically well, by doubling the radius, we would basically cut that in half. So if we moved a millimeter back here, even though we're on this longer radius, it would only be transferring to about half a, you know, tenth down there or something. You know, if, I'm probably saying this all stupid, but you kind of get the idea is if I cut down the amount of movement that I would get at the muzzle by half by extending the radius out you know or by doubling the radius so that's kind of the idea now as far as rigidity goes the aluminum tube is not going to bend i already did some calculations on this and this tube would require more than 500 pounds of force before it even bent about a tenth of an inch okay so with only about uh let's say the rifle itself weighs 17 pounds, and so the amount of pressure it's putting down here is probably around 12, 13, because you know it's it's forward heavy because of this barrel. So say it's putting 12 or 13 pounds of pressure here, 
and there's really not much pressure in the back um, at that point you know we're we're talking about the flex in this tube right now may be it may be less than a ten thousandths of an inch with just, you know with that little amount of pressure now I will say like the tube is more rigid than this MDT XRS chassis you can push the barrel and you can probably see that it 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 pushes down into the chassis like you can grab the chassis and squeeze it and the barrel kind of bounces up and down there so it's not the tube and the bipod and stuff that's flexing it's actually this chassis that's the weak point and that also has to do with leverage because we've attached this longer arm on the bottom of this chassis and it really wasn't designed for that so in the future possibly maybe uh, a little heavier duty chassis or something or, or figure out a way to stiffen it up but I think where the weak point comes into play is because the fore end piece is a separate piece from back here at the receiver and so it's got you know because those are bolted together it's got a kind of a weak point there you know just one of those things now I could bring this tube back to here and spread these two scope rings out a little bit and potentially that would increase the stability a little bit I'm not 100% sure on that but uh, anyways uh, as far as how much money I've tied up in this uh, this aluminum tube and the little accessory mount and then the scope rings I think I have oh and plus I had to buy the pick rail I've got around $50 tied up in it give or take you know excluding the bipod so 50 bucks for a bipod extension you know and of course I have looked into doing the carbon fiber tubing as well it carbon fiber uh, you know if I were to buy a heavy-duty piece of carbon fiber tubing one that is the same dimensions as this I'd be looking at about 50 bucks or so for a 30 millimeter OD 20 millimeter ID which if you get a carbon fiber tube that's that thick wall five millimeter thick on the wall uh, it's going to be extremely rigid and uh, you know even though it's probably going to still weigh about half as much as this aluminum tube but then again if we're only saving half the weight of the aluminum tube really not saving that much when you've got a rifle set up that's already 20 pounds so you're talking half a pound of weight or so it's not that big of a deal you know I don't know maybe lift some more weights <laughs> but uh, you know this is like one of those rifles you just bring it you set it up in one position and you hope that you don't have to move around with it too much so anyway I can't wait to get this thing to the range I'm also going to be testing this out on the 308 as well and with the 16 inch barrel and I've already mounted it on there it looks kind of funny because that barrel stops about right here where the mounting point is and then this thing sticks way out in front of it which is kind of funny looking but also kind of cool uh, so maybe one of these days real soon I'll get it to uh, go go shoot a few rounds out of it see how it acts uh, you know and obviously if it's not shooting quite like I want it to I've got the option of changing the length of this thing and and uh, and all that and just kind of figure out where it shoots the best uh, I am actually thinking about buying another piece of this aluminum tubing in a longer length and just to see what it does at a longer length you know I've, I've thought about maybe I should have went that route and instead of buying this 400 millimeter length tubing I should have bought like a thousand millimeter length tubing which is one meter about 39 39 three quarter inches or so and then start out and then just start cutting it down you know cut it down until I find the sweet spot where it really shoots good uh, I think that would be cool and then the only thing is is that would be for one rifle and then you have to do the same thing for another rifle uh, but because that's just how firearms are especially when it comes to long-range shooting and precision and stuff is you just got to figure out each particular gun uh, what they like you know so another thing too uh, this is not an AccuTag bipod, by the way. That is a Amazon Chinese-made knockoff. 
and uh, I believe it's made by a company called CV Life and it's like a seven and a half to ten inch bipod it's it's not got quite the range that a real AccuTac would have even though they look pretty similar uh, that that bipod's like fifty four dollars and it's amazingly sturdy and well built uh, you know I don't have an AccuTac to compare it to but uh, I mean for a fifty dollar bipod I don't think you could complain about it at all so if you guys were like trying to look for something that's similar um, I will say this one the legs on that the leg bodies are actually polymer they're not aluminum I'm sure the, the AccuTac is probably all aluminum uh, but these are polymer and then the leg inserts the extension pieces are aluminum uh, it the way this functions is that's a, a monoball joint and so this one lever controls whether you pivot on it or go up and down or whatever or, or rock side to side so it's on a ball so you can literally turn it just about any direction you can get just about any kind of angle of a movement out of it that you want um, which has its pluses and its flaws because it's only controlled by this one lever um, you know that if that one failure you know point failed then your your ball would be moving all willy-nilly like you know it would just kind of do this you see what I'm talking about but other than that I mean it's pretty friggin solid once you tighten it up of course I've only got it about half halfway tight and I can't hardly move it other than pushing weight on the rifle so yeah anyway let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to get to film shooting this today. I was hoping to, but at least we got to talk about it, I guess. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if you want to join the channel, you can. I believe it's five bucks a month to join it to become a member. Um, otherwise, if you just want to send a one-time like donation or thank you in the form of a little bit of money, uh, I think that you can do a super thanks. I don't know exactly how that works, but it should be available for you. And uh, like, you'll get a highlighted comment and, and everything like that. But that's up to you. You don't have to support me if you don't want to, but it would be much appreciated. So we'll see you next time in the next video. Thanks for watching.